Monterey Island this morning in South Texas. We're on our way to some Gulf Beach camping at Mustang Island State Park. I will chime back in as we approach the entrance of the State Park. Melody and I was, were down at the Padre Island National Park. They have dry camping down there, but no electric in their RV camp. Yeah. State Park is uh, off to the right up here. Mustang Island State Park is supposed to have some nice golf beach camping. Check in on the at the entrance here, find a spot, parking spot, and I'll give you a walking tour of their RV campground. We'll take a look at the beach. Okay, well we just arrived at Mustang Island State Park on Padre Island in South Texas. And uh, this was the, uh, we came off the main highway and we went through the fee booth. And I'm right here at the RV campground right now. We're gonna take a look at that and then we're gonna I'm gonna walk you out to the beach uh, the main beach area we'll explore that and uh, they have a jetty and there's fishing out on the jetty so uh, we'll probably take a look at that as well so let's get to it so just to give you an orientation that's the fee booth that we just came through and then we came around this way hung a left and that put us into this parking lot and there are showers and restrooms in there really clean restrooms and then the RV camping is down this way so let's go check the RV camping out so these uh, sites are reservable And if I recall correctly, they have electric, but no sewer. There is a dump station here. So you have water at your site. Let's see what kind of... Oh, they do have 50 amp. Yeah, see, that's why I do these on-site on reviews. I thought they only had 30 amp here, but they do have 50. 30, 50 amp electric service. There's the water connection. That's a look back at the site. That's right across from where the restrooms are. But, you know, I don't think I saw a site number on here. Let's look back. I don't see a site number. Oh, you know what? They're on the, uh, they're right above the picnic table there. See, site number one. So there you go. That's site number one. Any size rig can fit in there. I usually only show you um, pr preferred sites, sites that I would want to reserve. And that'll be the same here. I'm not going to show you all the sites. But uh, this would not be a preferred site for me. I just showed it to you because that was the first one I come upon. But uh, the garbage dumpsters are right here. It does get pretty hot down here in Texas, so I would, wouldn't want to be by the garbage dumpsters. Let's go take a look around the uh, RV campground. Okay, so uh, Melody just uh, met up with me and we had a little discussion. Uh, and she made a uh, good observation. You see, like right here, this is site three to the left, and that's site four. But uh, the picnic table for site four would be on the opposite side of your door, which would not be prefer preferable. So uh, site three would work for us. So let's go look at site number three. 
That way when you open your door, your picnic table is right there. Yeah, that's going to be 30, 50 amp service. And you have a water connection. It looks like somebody's occupying the site, but the trailer's not there right now. You can see the dunes in the Gulf of Mexico is right over those dunes. Give you a look back. So the night site number three is an okay site. I'll just mark it down as okay. I wouldn't call it preferred. Let's go see what else we have here. Site number 32 looks like a good site. Nobody's in site 32, so let's go check it out. Thirty fifty amp electric service. This site backs up to the dunes. Give you a look back. Site number thirty two is a keeper. That's going down in the book. Site thirty two. 30, 50 amp electric service. Any size rig can fit in there. You have a water hook up at the site. Site 32 going down in the book. Site number 40 is gonna be a keeper. That's also 30, 50 amp electric service. You have a water hook up and your picnic tail is gonna be on the side of, uh, uh, right outside your door. Site number 40 going down in the book. Site number 44. 3050 amp electric service. You have a water hookup and your picnic table is on the correct side. Site number 44 going down in the book for Mustang Island State Park. Site number 46, also a nice site. Got a wee bit little of a slant on that site, but still it's a preferable site. Picnic, ta picnic table is where it should be. And you have the 3050 amp electric service with water hookup. Site number 48 is the best site so far. That's going to be my uh, number one rated preferable site for Mustang Island State Park thus far. Site number 48, 3050 amp electric hookup, water hookup, and your picnic table is right outside your door. And what makes this site nice is you will have nobody out in front of your sitting area. So you got that privacy there. All you have is dune area. And then you got to turn around right up in here. And this is a look back. If I were to camp here, I would want to be on the dune side. So I was not showing you. Uh, sights off to the uh, right looking backward here so uh, let me take another walk through the uh, camping area and see what else we have here here's a look back at the complete campground give you an idea of what you're looking at here at Mustang Island State Park there were some sites on the end that I had not looked at, so I'm going to take another walk back down through the park, the RV park, and uh, we're going to take a look at those sites. There's a look at the rear of the uh, restrooms and shower house here at the RV campground. And then right out to the front, there were some more RV camping. You can see one of the campers up here. So uh, I'm going to walk up there and let's check that out. So here's the restroom facility and I'll pan around for you. The RV campground is, you can see the, the back of the RVs down there. And as I pan around, it 
looks like uh, they take really good care of their campground hosts. These uh, additional RV camping areas are all campground hosts. Looks like they have five different sites set up for their campground hosts. So, wow. State of Texas are really taking care of their host here at Mustang Island State Park. The RV camping area is down that way. And uh, there's the entrance. And uh, after you enter the park, you would just go straight ahead for the day use area where the beach access is. And that's where Melody and I are headed now. So let's go up here and check out the beach access. So here's the day use area. Uh, dead ahead and we're, we are going to go out to the beach and uh, it appears they have primitive camping. I have some tent campers that follow my channel also a lot of boondockers so uh, if I were to camp out here Melody and I would want electric that's one of the reasons why we came to check out Mustang Island State Park um, to have access to the Gulf Beaches and uh, also to have electric because it does get toasty here in South Texas. Uh, but let's go out and take a look at the beach. I'll come back and uh, we'll take a quick walk through of the primitive camping area and then I think we'll go out to the, the, uh, the, the fishing jetty. Let's get to it. There's Melody and Milo going out to the beach. Park ranger did tell us that uh, Milo is allowed on the beach, must be on a leash. And she also said that vehicles are allowed on the beach. They drive up and down the beach, so definitely want to have uh, your dog on a leash if you decide to take him out here on the beach. Wow. Look at this. What a nice looking beach area. They got a really cute pavilion set up out here. Looks like they might give little uh, outdoor classroom talks right here. I see some towers out there. Did not expect to see that. I wonder if those are oil drilling or gas drilling. Some kind of drilling. Have those uh, towers all along the coast here. see vehicles down on the beach on the lower end. It looks like they have a barrier so you can't come into this section of the beach. Those waves are pretty good waves out here today. That gives you an idea what the beach looks like out here. Mustang Island State Park. Let's go check the uh, primitive camping area. Hi Milo! That's my baby boy. That's my baby. So the primitive camping area that they have here at Mustang Island State Park is out here on the beach. You can see somebody coming in off the camping area now. 
So that's the entrance to the primitive camping area where I just walk from. And it does look like they have uh, several porta potties and trash receptacles as well as picnic covered picnic tables along the beach down here. And uh, this so uh, this is a different uh, type of primitive camping. And if you look real hard, I'll zoom in for you. You can see an RV up there. There's a travel trailer right on the beach. So this is the primitive camping area. I'm on my way out to the fishing jetty and I spotted one of these blue jellyfish. Uh, it looks like you can drive right up to the fishing jetty. Let's go check it out. It looks like this makes a horseshoe down here at the fishing jetty. It looks like they have also have a porta potty set up, a couple picnic tables, and you have this jetty that goes out, and you can see some some pit people fishing out there. Wow. Walk up. Let's I'm gonna walk up there and let's go check it out. That's a look back at the main beach area and I walked up this beach. But this jetty area is a pretty cool pretty cool place. There's like a double jetty. And then you have this calm beach right in the center there. The, the waves are really smacking up against the jetty up there in the front. Looks like this jetty's made out of a it's a really pretty pink granite. I wonder where they got the pink granite. I wonder if that comes from Texas. There's a second jetty further up the coast there that goes up toward Aransas Beach. And, uh, Melody and I are going up there a little bit later today to check out some boondocking and some free camping opportunities on the Gulf of Mexico. This is a this is a pretty state park. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.